for some of you, this video might be a life saver if you have any doubts about the COVID-19 vaccine. I believe in justice for all, but there is no justice if it is just us suffering or dying from COVID-19. I wish I could bust a few moves about this. Instead, let me bust a few myths about the vaccine. Let me say a little bit about me. I'm Walter Clark. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, in the hood, and then went off on scholarship to get a lot of education to become a doctor. I studied at places like Williams College, Howard University, Harvard University to get where I am now. I went back to the hood to doctor on folks, and all total, I have been doctoring for more than 40 years. I have been a lot of places from north to south, but nowhere like the great COVID-19 pandemic. It has taken our people down. So let me spit some truth, which I call information, because there is a lot of misinformation out there that is confusing our people. Misinformation means that people have got the facts wrong, and even though they may be trying to steer you in the right direction, um, they just got it wrong. What I consider as plain and simple evil is all the disinformation floating out there. Disinformation means people are just plain lying and want to steer you in the wrong direction because they want to do you harm. So now let me bust a few myths. A myth. The COVID-19 vaccine is not safe because they didn't take enough time making it and testing it, and you don't want to be a guinea pig for nobody. The truth is, many drug companies put a lot of money, energy, and time into making a vaccine for the COVID-19 virus because the pandemic was affecting everyone on Earth. We have one of the biggest emergencies the world has ever seen. But that didn't mean the drug companies skipped things like making sure the vaccine was safe. A lot of testing took place before they could get the okay from the government to release the vaccine and for you to get your shot at returning to normal. Your best shot at returning to normal is the COVID-19 vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna were created with a method that has been in development for years. So the companies actually could start the vaccine development process early in the pandemic. I said, thank God. China isolated and shared genetic information about COVID-19 promptly. I mean, like quick, fast, in a hurry. So scientists could get busy working on the vaccines. Another myth. More people will die as a result of a negative side effect to the COVID-19 vaccine than would actually die from the virus. The truth is, floating around on social media is the claim that the number of people dying from COVID-19 is something like one to two people out of 100 people getting the infection. This is actually true. Folks spreading disinformation want you to believe that this is actually a very low death rate and that this means that there is a high survival rate for folks who get infected. From this, they tell you that you should not get vaccinated against a virus with such a high survival rate. What they don't want you to know is that the death rate for the flu is more like one to two people out of 1,000 people who get the flu. The death rate for the flu is high enough for us in the medical field to go around and go through all the trouble every year getting folks vaccinated against the flu. I call this disinformation because I believe folks spreading this want you to be harmed. In other words, they want to do you harm. So the kill rate for COVID-19 is 10 times higher than the flu. And no wonder folks in the know are spooked by COVID-19. 
it is truly a bad virus. I should also add that COVID-19 does more than just kill people. The virus can also cause permanent harm to people who survive the infection. So let me say here that getting the vaccine is not just about survival from COVID-19. It is also about preventing spread of the virus to other people and preventing infection that can both kill and harm people for a long time. Because the disease can damage the lungs, heart, and brain, it may also cause long-term health problems that experts are still trying to figure out. You cannot get COVID-19 infection from the COVID-19 vaccines. These vaccines have nothing to do with live viruses. No uh, vaccine is 100% effective, but guess what? It's far better than not getting a vaccine. During this pandemic, getting no vaccine is like gambling. And what you can lose with this game is life or liberty from chronic disease. Another myth, there are severe side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines. The truth is, like with most vaccines, people definitely feel it after the shot. It is no different for the COVID-19 vaccine. These side effects can include headaches, chills, feeling tired, muscle pain, and even a little fever for a few days, if that much. These side effects just tell you that your body is reacting to the vaccine in the way it should to produce protection against the virus. This is how your body develops immunity. This is no different than when you receive your flu shot. I ain't gonna lie to you, a very, very small number of people will be allergic to the shot and have a big time reaction but not to worry. Medical folks who are giving these shots must also have emergency supplies on hand to deal with these rare situations. Another myth, I already had COVID-19 and I got better on my own. So I don't need to get a COVID-19 vaccine when it's available. The truth is, there is not enough information currently available to say if or for how long after infection someone is protected from getting COVID-19 again. This is called natural immunity. At this time, it seems like natural immunity from COVID-19 may not last very long. Boy, that's a shame too. This has got to be studied up some more uh, to have a better understanding of this. Some of the big dogs in health in the health industry recommend getting the COVID-19 vaccine even if already a person has had the COVID-19 infection. However, those that had COVID-19 should hold off for about 90 days from the time they were told they had a COVID-19. This is what I tell my patients, and I know it don't seem fair. People should not get vaccinated if in quarantine after exposure or if they have COVID-19 symptoms. Another myth. I won't need to, to wear a mask after I get vaccinated for COVID-19. Well, the truth is it may take some time for everyone who wants a COVID-19 vaccination to get one. So while the vaccine may prevent you from getting sick, it is unknown at this time if you can still carry the virus and deliver it to someone else who is not protected with the vaccine. So until most people around you are protected, you help your neighbor by wearing your mask and keeping your distance. I also want to say that it is not your neighbor or people who are around you that, that they will know for sure that you got your vaccine. They are still going to look at you kind of strange because you don't have one on during this national emergency. Until more is understood about how well the vaccine works, continuing with precautions such as 
wearing masks and physical distancing uh, will be important. Until more is understood about how well the vaccine works, continuing with these precautions, such as wearing a mask and practicing social distancing will be important. I'm allergic to eggs, so I shouldn't get the COVID-19 vaccine. Of course, this is a myth. The truth is none of the vaccines used in the USA contain eggs and eggs were not used in the development or production of these vaccines. However, people with severe allergic reactions to eggs or other substances are advised to stay put after the shot for at least 30 minutes so they can be watched over just in case. Getting close to the end of this video, let me talk about another myth. COVID-19 vaccines must be stored at extremely low temperatures because of all the preservatives in the vaccines. Well, this is misinformation. The truth is the Pfizer, for instance, and the Moderna vaccines have reported that their vaccines contain absolutely no preservatives. So let me say more. Different vaccines have different temperature storage needs. For example, the Pfizer vaccine must be stored at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really, really cold, while the Moderna vaccine needs to be stored at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, kind of like refrigerator freezer cold. Both of these vaccines use messenger RNA. Now, I'm not going to get all technical on you, but this messenger RNA is needed to teach your cells how to make a protein that will jumpstart your immunity to COVID-19. However, these messenger RNAs are like really wimpy and can break down easily. Keeping these messenger RNA vaccines like COVID-19 vaccines in the cold keeps them stable and safe. Now you don't need to worry about these cold temperatures because the vaccines are Fall out before you actually get the shot. So let me end this video presentation by saying again, as I said at the beginning, there is no justice if it is just us suffering or dying from COVID-19. The COVID-19 vaccine is our best shot at getting back to normal. Thank you for hearing me out. Peace.